Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson we are going to be looking at another equation where we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65 and we are given to solve m. If you would like you can pause this video and try to solve this equation. You can also go ahead and look at my previous videos on how to solve these exponential equations. So let us now go ahead and solve this equation. So we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 65. And we are given to solve m. Now to solve this equation, we can write our expression as follows. Where we have 3 to the power of m in brackets and 2 to the power of m in brackets to the power of 1. And we know that 1 is the same as 2 over 2 because 1 is a whole and 2 over 2 is a whole. So we are using the principle of equivalent fractions to solve this equation. So now we can actually write our equation as follows, 3 to the power of m in brackets powered by 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of m also powered by 2 over 2 is equal to 65. As we go along, you'll find out that doing this will make the equation a lot simpler and possible to solve. We are also going to be using up our laws of indices to solve our equation. So here we have a to the power of m in brackets powered by n is equal to a to the power of m times n or mn. So using this law, we can actually have 3 to the power of m over 2 bracket to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 bracket to the power of 2 is equal to 65. Now we are going to represent what we have here in the form of variables. So here we are going to say let x equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. We will also say let y equals 2 to the power of m over 2. And in just a bit you will see how having these two variables play out very well in giving us our solution for this equation. So let's look at what we have here. We have x and this is going to be to the power of 2. So we have x squared minus y and that 2 is going to be squared. So x2 minus y2 is equal to 65. And if you look closely right here, you will see another index law coming out where we have what is called the difference of two squares. Our rule here states that if we have a squared minus b squared, we can actually simplify this out as follows, where we have a plus b in one bracket times another bracket where we have a minus b. So we are going to apply that rule right here. So we're going to have x plus y in bracket times another bracket where we have x minus y and we said that's equal to 65. Now right here we can look at our 65 and we can find the factors of 65 where we have two numbers multiplied together to give us 65 so those numbers are 13 and 5 as 13 times 5 gives us 65. Now what this means for us is that one of the brackets are going to equal to 13 and the other one is going to equal to 5 as 13 times 5 is 65. So we're going to give the 1 for the positive for the 13 and we're going to give the 1 for the negative for the 5. So we have x plus y is equal to 13 and we have x minus y is equal to 5. Now we have a pair of simultaneous equation and as you can see right here it's more logical to have the x plus y equal to 13 and x minus y is equal to 5 since 5 is less than 13. So we're going to solve this pair of simultaneous equation. So we're going to use the elimination method and we're going to be eliminating the y. Since the two y's are one is a positive and one is a negative, we're going to add right through for us to eliminate. So y is going to cancel out each other and x plus x is 2x and 13 plus 5 is 18. And then we solve for x as follows by dividing both sides by 2. And here we have x is equal to 9. So we have x is equal to 9. That means we can solve y. And if we look here, we see two equations. We have equation 1 and we also have equation 2. We can choose either equation 1 or 2 to solve for y. 
So here we're going to choose equation 1 where we have x plus y is equal to 13. We said that x is 9. So we have 9 plus y is equal to 13. And then in solving for y, we can subtract 9 on both sides of the equation. So in doing that, we know that 9 is going to be cancelled out on the left. And on the right, we're going to have 13 minus 9. So we know that 13 minus 9 equals 4. So that means y is equal to 4. Previously, we set x to be the variable that owes the value of 3 to the power of m over 2. And we also set y to be the variable that owes the value of 2 to the power of m over 2. So what this means now, like we have for example x being equal to 9, we said that x is also 3 to the power of m over 2 as we stated that earlier. So we can write that as 3 to the power of m over 2 is equal to 9. And we can actually use this and solve the value of m. We also said that 2 to the power of m over 2, which is the value of y, is equal to 4. We can choose to use either equation here to solve our problem. Let us go ahead with choosing the first equation, where we have 3 to the power of m over 2 is equal to 9. And we're going to do this to solve the value of m. Now, if you look at our 9, we know that 9 is the same as 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared. Using our index rule, we know that whenever we have the same base, like the 3 and the 3 here, we can set the exponents being equal to each other. So that means we have m over 2 is equal to 2, and 2 is the same as 2 over 1. And then we get the denominators to be the same by multiplying both top and bottom by 2. And doing this, we see clearly that m is equal to 4. Now let's go ahead and use our second equation to find the value of m. We said that we have 2 to the power of m over 2 is equal to 4. Now just like we did previously when we look at the 9 we can also look at the 4 and the 4 is the same as 2 squared. And again using our law of indices we know that whenever we have the same base we can set the exponents to be equal. So we have m over 2 is equal to 2 and 2 again is the same thing as 2 over 1. And then we solve for m by making the denominator being the same and we do this by multiplying both top and bottom by 2 and there we have it it is now clear that m doth equal 4 now let us see if we can verify our solution for m where we said that m is equal to 4 So our problem states that 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65 and we are given to find the value of m. Now since we said that m is equal to 4, we can have 3 to the power of 4 being subtracted from 2 to the power of 4 and we said that that's equal to 65. So I'm just going to write that out. Now 3 to the power of 4 means we're going to multiply 3 by itself 4 times. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we said that that is subtracted from 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And we said that all of this is equal to 65. Now let us do the math. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3, that gives us 81. So all of this right here gives us 81. So 3 to the power of 4 gives us 81. And we are going to subtract this now from, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's equal to 16. So we have that equal to 65. And 81 minus 16 gives us 65. So there we have it. Our solution is proven. M is equal to four. Thanks again for watching my video. If you like this video, please remember to smash that like button and also share and subscribe to my channel. And until then, take care.